Enough, Silary. These mysterious deaths are our business to solve, not yours. Little busy at the moment. You know, now's not the time to be wandering around. What with the gruesome killings and clueless investigators. Could wind up dead. Or answering questions until you wish you were. From what I gather, soldiers at Katon Keep have been disappearing in the night, only to have their desiccated bodies show up days later. The garrison's completely spooked. I came to look into it, but the Divine Prosecution beat me here. We don't exactly see eye to eye when it comes to hunting baddies, so now they're going to spend weeks questioning soldiers and measuring footprints, while more people get turned to jerky. Actually, maybe you could help me with that? I really thought I was going to have to do a lot more convincing. Helping strangers break into keeps a hobby of yours. What hobby? What I really need is a distraction. If you can keep Linda Foy at the gate, busy for a minute, I can handle the rest. I have a document saying I'm an inspector sent by the proxy queen to investigate. But since Linda Foy and everyone else in there knows that's not true, I can't use it. You, though. Show it to Lin. Act all high society, and waltz right in. Doesn't matter. It'll buy me time to sneak past either way. If you do get inside, all the better. We can partner up. I'm sure you'll do fine. It helps if you imagine a really big stick up your... spine. Straight back. Perfect. All right, Royal Inspector. Off you go. Just talk like you've never interacted with an actual person at any point in your life. We'll put a stop to these killings, and maybe not even get arrested. Fun, right? The Divine Prosecution are great at stopping crime and rooting out sedition. But stuff like this, things that go bump in the night, that's when you need a specialist. I'm very special. It's a hobby. Well, more of a lifelong calling that leaves me little time for hobbies, but I'm doing what I love, and in my own way, and I'm really good at it. Not that the Divine Prosecution would ever admit it. The Divine Prosecution cordoned off the area, and like I said, they're not big fans of me. I may have been a bit indelicate when I suggested they collectively had the hunting sense of a blind cliff racer. These things happen. They keep the peace in Somerset, mostly by making sure no one steps out of line. When something's amiss, they investigate and kick the problem in the teeth, if need be. Too dogmatic, though. Who cares about procedure when lives are on the line? Only slightly, and the Order has bigger concerns at the moment. Once it's clear you're not a suspect, I'm sure they'd let you off with a stern warning. But we're not going to get caught, right?
this is the end there, guys. Alright. There's a chest here a second. Yeah, there it is.
have returned intact. How wonderful. I was worried the griffin might have been a bit too much, but I see you're not one to be easily deterred. Good. Tell me, how did you acquire your most lovely feather? A heroic tale, but a bit dull. You might want to spice it up a bit. Where's the action? Where's the drama? Well, stories aside, you have executed my task most diligently. With this lovely feather, your mask is complete. Now's the time to don your mask and play the game of boasts. Talk with the other three hopefuls, perform together, and then ask each other one question. Your answers must be tales that can wow the crowd, a chance to bond and perfect your act. You'll find the other potentials inside our quarters, the Mana of Masks. We have a talented crop this week, but I'm certain you'll fit right in. Don't forget to wear your mask. We can't force you, of course, but why not get used to it? Oh, not much, I'm afraid. I have many names, but my true name is spoken only in the dead of night, and only in the softest whispers. I am the daughter of a dragon and a rather robust Telvani. I spit fire and turn into a wyvern on the full moon. Only me, of course. I'm teasing you. I was actually born whole from the earth when a lonely sapiar cast a spell to create a wife. He was attractive, I'll give him that, but boring, so I left him with a mud pie and ran off to join the theater. Oh, you're no fun. I'm actually a simple farmer's daughter who learned... Did I? Well, let's see. Have you taken a lover recently? What was their name? It's a question, is it? Why I put you... You made your... Yeah, Have you had... We always wear... I know I'm the only merchant in Relanville. How would you like to do something worthwhile?
five-fold venerations, my friend. If you're working in cloth, if you're dead.
I heard your audition was a success. Of course, I knew my daggers would impress. Now, you need to mingle with the other potentials and figure out which one is Laredel. No easy task, given this troop's traditions. As twins, we share a striking resemblance, but all hopefuls wear a mask. Still, I have a suggestion. We were attacked by a griffin when we were little. Laredel pushed me aside to save me and took a wound to his chest. He still has the scar. None come to mind. Say, why don't you take my journal? I've kept numerous notes on my interactions with Laredel, leading up to when he decided to leave for Relenthiel. Perhaps something in there will offer the clues you seek. No mask? Really? Or is that just amazingly lifelike? No matter. To each his own. You're here to play the game of boasts, aren't you? First, we must perform together. Alchemy didn't explain it. Well, I'm happy to share. 
First, we must perform as a team so we can learn each other's strengths and weaknesses. Should we both be lucky enough to join the troupe, we'll already know how to put on a performance. Well, let's start simple, shall we? I'll do what I do, and you'll do what you do. Join me and we'll see what we can do together. After that comes the fun part, the boasts. <laughs> well, that's the part I consider most fun. impressive. You've got quite the talent for juggling. Never could I do that myself. Tried it once and nearly sliced off a finger. Now to the questions. I'll start. Tell me, my deft-fingered friend, where did you grow up? Ha! Lived in a barrel. I love it. That must have been a spacious barrel, my friend. I imagine you felt like a sardine. All right, go ahead. Ask me anything. Oh, yes! All six of them! I grew up with a pack of wolves, you see. Lost my parents to a griffin attack when I was two. But Mama took me in and taught me to hunt and fetch sticks. We still get together and hunt deer every other week. Hold on! That's two questions, isn't it? You only get one. But here's a truth to match my boast. The House of Reveries is amazing! Performing every day, learning new tricks. Why, I used to have to sneak away every time I wanted to practice. Oh, you know how family is. If your ancestors weren't fire breathers, why would you want to be? Well, I wish you the best in your audition for the Grand Maestro. Here's hoping we both get in. Honestly, nothing would please me more. <laughs> 